Guys, welcome back. Today you guys are in for a uh, a real treat because it's uh it's time to take on the Titans. It's week five. We really need to get back in the uh, in the swing of things and get get a winning record because the Patriots ain't gonna stop. So we're gonna have to catch them, even though we got the uh, we got the dub on the road. We're gonna go full on throwbacks, or might just go some all orange. Let's see where those oranges are. Oh, there they are. Okay, we're ready now. All right, let's do this. But uh, yeah, last time it was a real doozy. It was a uh, we went to town, and that's us. But I mean, we're we're four games in, and we're already closing in on a thousand yards. And you see the goals today. <sighs> Rush for 45 yards. I'll do that on one play, bro. So we're gonna go into the uh, the Titans crib. You see, we're in 81 overall now. We uh, we boosted some juke moves. So now uh, we can really get wiggly with it, and just I've been saving up. Our speed's not that bad. I mean, we we break some long ones, and speed's super expensive. But uh, I might just start saving up for that, so I can just be real head full of steam and see what we can really do. But we're taking on the Titans. Get this fast, and the Titans ain't playing around. We're running the orange unis. There's no coach anymore. That's us. We're the only coach that matters. And you see, we're going to run some plays that are in our in our game plan play. I mean, look at just the pink cleats. They're looking damn good. So let's switch this thing, see if we can just set the tone immediately. Oh, what's up? You, you new in this town? And there's a flag on the field. Oh, of course there's a hold. And we're probably going to score. Nope, gonna be, we're going to bring that thing back just one time. So that's a little unfor that's unfortunate, Charles Livingston III. And that's that's a hold. Come on, Devontae. And we're back to that was a good run. I mean we set the tone pretty early. Let's see if we can get a little inside zonage. They'll give it to him right up the gun. Ah, that's not us. It would have been much cooler if we would already had our, our weekly goal with that forty five yard first run. But anyway, you see the pink sleeve, he's looking damn good. To be interesting to see if the offense. See, it looks like they're bringing a little pressure, but we're not phased. Excuse me. And we're just fighting for yardage. I mean, we'd have a lot better situation if we didn't have that hold. If we'd already scored, the T-Dactyl would have been getting crunk. So I guess it's just time for a slip screen because you know we need a little bit of yak because we're all about that yak. How about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism. There it is. There's our money play. Tanhill loves this play. It's the only play he gets to pass on. So hopefully we can do something cool. Hopefully he actually feeds us. Nah, that ain't him. All right, good first drive. Tannehill sacked. Carl Close. And that's Titans football. Just, just strategically going down the field and just making moves. Back out on the field. You see, we're up to negative six yards on the day. Not too shabby if you think about it. But I would imagine sometimes truck get the nerves at the beginning of a game. Still, don't you? Those don't ever. If he wouldn't have just lost that man's soul, and his soul would have held him up, that's to the crib. Let's see if we can go a little outside zone. Stretch the D out a little bit. Oh God. We can go inside zone. That's what all the guys are looking for. Too many ghoulies over there. Out of the gun. And he'll be tackled. And we're just pounding the rock, just like that they wanted us to. Tannehill kind of faking a run, but they know we're, we're not actually giving it to Tannehill. Some runs are Let's go back to our, our coach suggestions. Has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. Mm -hmm. That trap, that's exactly what we need. Space up front. Because we're always in the trap. And on the ground they go with a running back. And we're just crunching souls. I mean, remember last episode, Ioka died because his legs just were part of the field, and then and then some other crazy shit happened where his like body got rolled up, and I don't think he can walk anymore. But it's fine because he, he he's doing what he loves. And it gives this time to the tailback. And he's got Let me just truck him real fast. Excuse me. Does the big boy have the juice? Oh yeah! Look at that just fat man roll. He's loving it. Get the crowd up in here. Woo, baby! And you see just the pure power, the pure beef. This guy has no chance. 
And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh! The coach is like, good job, I guess. You know what she'd run the plays I called. And we missed the PAT, and this is the game that the uh, that the Titans live for. A real 6-6 six six scrap fest. So we're going to toss this out, hopefully get to the edge. Do that once more. And, it takes me back and then hopefully truck this guy, excuse me. And can we do it? Can we actually break a 75-yarder? And it looks like we can. And he's loving it. He's getting the crowd into it. Oh, we're doing a little shimmy shake. Woo, baby. And then blows a kiss to his mom. She's up in the 14th row. He's pretty cheap, so he didn't get her good seats. And you see he just scoot and trucks that guy again. That guy's demoralized. That guy tries to just trip him by his cankle, but there's just no chance. And those all orange unis are really, we're peaking strong. And we did make the PAT. So we're going to go a little slip screen since it is under two minutes, I guess. And you see we already got our uh, one of our milestones. Alright, that was just good D. Tannehill over one, still just chilling. Something in the air, deep ball. And then uh, we're just making moves. We're not going to be so crazy and do another pass play. Tannehill might blow it, but we are going to flip this play up. Go to the green. They'll give it to him right up the Oh, God. Just absolute ragdoll. That guy's loving it up. I still like in Madden how they haven't fixed the dudes on the sidelines, so they're still just super generic. No name on the back of the jersey. They're just there. They're chilling. Tannehill. Now they go. All right, we need a block. Give us some more blocks. Give us some more blocks. That's just not right. God, it just takes an absolute train of gentlemen to take this guy down. And that's just yards of yak. Look, he smacks it up. He respects his game. Now we're gonna go dive. We're not gonna be too crazy. He pressure towards your quarterback. That's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Nah, I didn't push it soon enough. That's on me. Get on the line. Seven yard line. We'll go slip screen. No, nah, we'll go stretch arc. We're not gonna go too nuts. And they're gonna hurry back to the line now. Oh God. Attack here. Um, Jordan Cameron. Can you take a lap? Just take a lap, please. Just take a quick one. Just think about why you didn't block that guy. It could have been beautiful. It could have been another long one. And when he can make the play himself. Oh God! And they're starting to catch on. That's just that's just Titans football. So that means they're down. So we're just gonna go into the half with a nice little lead. It's not gonna be too big of a deal, unless they score immaculately. And we got the ball back. Let's go back to Coach Suggest and see what he wants from us. Not a fullback dive. We're not going to. He knows his role. And that's just to crunch people when he sees them. They have the lead. Look at this little shotgun run. We're really keeping the defense on their toes. I like the way you turn. Excuse me. Please outrun this gentleman. Oh, God. And that's just another good run. That hair, I cannot get over it. It's so thin and doesn't apply. It has, it doesn't abide by the, the laws of physics. It just doesn't. It doesn't care. In the first half, like technically, it shouldn't even exist. Defense in press coverage here. It's so thin. And you see, we're just dragging linemen forward. We outweigh the linemen by a good 40, 50 pounds, depending on if they're real beefy, Vince Wilfork style. We're still just making moves, and that's what we—that's what we specialize in. That's what we went to. That was our major in college. Ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not. Oh my! Get off of me, sir! And look, we're just carrying. Oh God, the cameraman's dead. R.I.P. Look at me. First down, baby. Take a picture of that, homie. I don't, I don't know if he actually said that or not, but that's what it looked like he would have said if that situation had occurred. Struggled to contain him. I mean, we're just methodically marching down the field. Still running the football with a Get trucked to the goal line. Get in there, and that's another TD. Oh, smack those! Look at him. He's playing the violin, and that's just another beautiful run. And the Titans—they're not going to go away. They'll fill goal us to death. They don't care. Not gonna go 
We'll go counter. It's part of the game plan. The coach knows what he's doing. I mean, he's new here, so he has to know. They'll be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Man, confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once. And that just more, just more getting in the soul of the defense and just crunching. Like, Brandon Jacobs was a big dude, but the pterodactyl is like twice the size Brandon Jacobs. around. And he outweighs him by like a thousand pounds. The pterodactyl actually can't ride on elevators. That's one of the faults. And you see he's just carrying lifeless defenders. You know how bruised you would be if you were just a corner and you just met the pterodactyl head on? After he went on one of his world famous... Guys, we're going to do something crazy. We're going to let Tannehill throw it. And I'm going to do something even crazier. I'm going to be the only route. So then he has to throw it. He knows how to carry the football really well and continually wants the football. Why? He knows offense. Look at this. I'm the only route. Great effort himself to finish off. And he still didn't. He still didn't even look my way. He's had enough of my shenanigans, and that's a pretty solid first three quarters of the game. Let's see if we can ice this thing out and just go to three and two. So that's exactly what we need. You see the Patriots putting up quite the battle against the Browns. Edelman, just typical. Oh god, I shouldn't have bounced it, but I'll truck. Get trucked again. And also I like how reckless the defenders come in there flying. Like today I played and I was bringing the quarterback down. He's pretty much already down and this safety just comes in there and literally tries to decapitate him. It would have been the, it would have been the equivalent to a Game of Thrones just war scene. Let's see if we can get to this edge. Truck. Ooh, he gave us a little... Now, for the rim this game, I'm going to try to... Uh, I forgot about it, because I never I never go for the hurdle, but we're going to get a hurdle in. That's my goal from here on out. That's what they're doing. We just need to hurdle a single soul, and we'll probably fumble, but that's fine. Oh, this guy's a perfect candidate right here. Oh, God. And he called it. And But that, that's fine. That's fine. We, we recovered it. No big deal. Look, I'm still loving it, even though I just almost ruined the whole drive. Now, we're just going to goal on it to glory. I am going to try to go over the top. Hopefully, he does it. Because recently, he hasn't. I don't know why. I mean, I want it. Everyone knows I want it, but it's just not, it's not happening. Nine broken tackles. We're busting this thing to the outside. We're just going to out-sprint everyone. Or we won't. And we're in there. He puts it down, throws the fist up, throws the finger up, and he's loving life. And that's just a hell of a drive. That's exactly what we're looking for. Oh, and they score. Not a big deal. We're just going to keep, we're just going to pound this clock out. Let me turn on shoe clock. And also, I need to get a hurdle in. That's a given. I need to hurdle someone. I thought that was it. I really thought that was it. We do need 11 more yards for 300, so we're, we're about to get that. And then, maybe in the process, we'll hurdle someone. Because if you can actually hurdle an innocent soul with a 700-pound man, get him. And then, I don't know if I'm going to... Oh, oh, oh. oh, and we're in there. And we're in there like swimwear. He's, he knows he's the shit. He knows he is. Get the crowd up. Touch. I thought we were going to get caught. Actually, I thought I was going to step out of bounds like a true idiot. Oh, we can get some more yak. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to try to get a hurdle in these final three plays of the game. If it doesn't happen, whatevs. But we're going to make it happen. And he'll give it here to his running back. Here it comes, this guy right here. Oh, God, get on the line. Oh, they called timeout. I could have probably scored if I trucked that guy. But that's not what I... I've already scored enough. I'm, now I'm just trying to make highlight plays. AKA hurdling. Looking to jam the receivers at the line. I'm trying to be young Leonard. Good old B Leonard, the running back from Rutgers, who would just hurdle like one solo game. You see, I want it. That's that's obvious. That that's exactly what I want. But I, I just don't know if we're going to be able to pull this off. Because it takes a lot of hard work plus perseverance. And you see the coach, they want to take a knee. I don't know why. Because that doesn't get us on SportsCenter. That's never a top play. And they'll go on the ground. And he'll go God, down. we're so close yet so far. You know what I'm saying. That one, and as a result, the drive I mean, we're going absolutely ham, but still, if I could get one hurdle in, that would be the highlight of the day. Not the four touchdowns, not the over 300 yards, but just the one hurdle right here. 
And he'll be I, I pushed triangle. It, it said he didn't. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. All right. And that'll make it second and a Guys, we know what zone. we need. Double tight, double tight. Do this. And the Patriots win. Pretty sure they're four and one. So we have a little bit of catching up to do. They'll give it to him right up the gun. Oh God. RIP. He no longer has any angles left. That's enough to move the chains. Now, now if we could do it on this last play, it'd be so inspirational. That'll be their third and final. Alright, we need a stretch in the worst way. There it is. Let's see if we can have some inspirational time. We're gonna flip the play. We're gonna hurdle the safety and just go into next week feeling good about our chances. Here, muscles him off. I got out of bounds, baby. We can, we got another play. We got more life. And now, if you were taking pictures and that gentleman walked upon you, pay dividends. Just the young, young, stone cold Steve Austin. You'd be. We did it, and that surpasses the 400-yard mark. I'm just, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's teardrops hitting the PS4 controller, because that was one of the prettiest things I've ever seen. Let's see if we can have some highlights. Is there a f There we go. I mean, just look at this. NFL Films, he gets a seal. This guy's coming in. He's already been trucked numerous times by him. WHOP! That was Chris Berman. And just look at, like, that guy just, he knows his shoulders want to be okay, so the best chance is going for his shins. And then just look at this pure vertical. And then we're, we're there. Hell of a video. Hell of a game. Anyway, uh, I will record another one and upload it tomorrow. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm glad I could give you peeps a hurdle because that's really what any NFL player wants to do is hurdle another man because then it gets the other guy real downtrodden. But anyway, thanks for watching. Until next video, I'm out.